It's all any of the families at this point can ask for is you fix it so it doesn't happen to somebody else. And it's called the Service Member Safety and Security Act. The goal is simple, to provide better safety for men and women stationed on military bases and posts. 25 News reporter Sierra Shipley spoke with Private Gregory Weedle Morales' mother on her thoughts as her son was declared AWOL before being found dead last year. The Service Member Safety and Security Act would improve policies and procedures for reporting missing service members, like partnering with local law enforcement to improve information sharing. If this bill is what it takes to save a life, then please pass the bill. Kim Weedle is Private Gregory Weedle Morales' mother. Morales was declared AWOL in 2019, and Weedle believes that word prolonged the search for her son. Once the word AWOL goes out, everybody just like, oh, a missing soldier. It's, you know, it's their fault. It's the soldier's fault. Morales was found dead after missing for nearly a year. This bipartisan bill would help with information gathering and sharing. Senator Cornyn said, quote, the recent deaths of soldiers at Fort Hood have shaken us all, and my hope is that this bill will help us prevent similar tragedies in the future. Why do we have to have a rule that says care about your soldiers? Why do we have to have protocols that say do the right thing? Saturday marks one year since Morales was found. It's still just that hard to talk about. Weedle believes her son was killed the day he went missing in 2019. <laughs> so much anger. <laughs> um, they just didn't care. They didn't have, they had no intention of looking for him. They just wrote him off. Simply wishing it didn't take legislation to save future lives. We shouldn't need it. it sh they should just do this anyway. This is just something that should be done. As these soldiers fight for their country, this bill will fight for them. In Waco, Sierra Shipley, 25 News. Sierra, thank you. Now, the surviving suspect in the disappearance and murder of Vanessa Guillen, another case, should be in court tomorrow. Cecily Aguilar is expected to appear for a federal hearing. She's charged with one count of conspiracy to tamper with evidence and two counts of tampering with evidence.